soul reaching, soul saving. That's our must, that's our bread and butter, that is the uh, motor behind the church. We are here to save the lost, to reach out to the lost, but not just locally. Sister Bertha came into my life at a very young age, the age of 16 years of age, and uh, to me it was a critical time uh, where I really needed guidance, I needed uh, a sure footing, and to me, uh, Pastor Abel was there, accepted me when I walked in through the church doors, and really provided that uh, comfort, provided a um, a sense of, you know what, we're here for you. For the years here at Bethesda, uh, I was able to do, I was able to learn, grow, uh, expand, and Pastor Abel gave us that room. We ministered as a youth pastor for nine years. Uh, did praise and worship. Uh, we led worship for 27 years. Uh, went on missions trips. And one thing I can say about Pastor, uh, an impression that was, is real dear to my heart and to my life, is his faith. Faith is something that I always saw in him. Never doubting, just moving forward in whatever God uh, would give him. So, one of the memories that I'll always have and cherish is the time that I was able to go with Pastor Abel to Africa. We experienced great uh, things and move of God, it was awesome, but also we, we had to kind of cope with the heat there in Africa, and when in Nigeria, do as the Nigerians. We, uh, there was moments when the heat was overbearing and uh, the men there, they were without shirts. So guess what Pastor Abel and I did? We took off our shirts because it was just too hot. Uh, but I can also say that Pastor and I slept together. We actually slept on the same bed for uh, uh, a whole week. It was one of those things where uh, we just, that, that's, that's the, the closeness, we got to have a laugh about it, we were able to just, uh, just have fun with it, so that was, it's a memory, uh, along with the miracle that happened is during that challenge of the heat, one evening pastor lifted up his hands and spoke outside the window and he just said, you know, he called for the winds from the north, south, east, and west to come and freshen up uh, uh, our region, our area. And sure enough, within a half an hour, we had a storm that rolled through. We had rain. It was cool. Uh, so I can see that that faith, that uh, just reaching out, uh, had really impacted my life. So on behalf of the whole Sanchez clan, from my grandparents to her sons, nephews, great-grandsons, and all those that through the years, Pastor Abel and Bertha, you have touched and you have been there for us. We want to congratulate you on the ministry of integrity, a ministry of consistency and love uh, towards us all. We, we want to thank you for the 40 years uh, of great service to the church, the community, and to the world. Thank you.
¿Quién es Abel Vázquez? Es... Abel Vázquez es un amigo mío que nos conocimos en el colegio bíblico uh, latinoamericano, Latin American Bible Institute, en El Paso, en el 1971. Ahí en ese lugar fuimos, estudiamos y una de las cosas que yo me di de cuenta de mi amigo Abel, que era tranquilo y una de las cosas que observaba era que todos lo respetaban. Me daba de cuenta que a él una de las cosas que le gustaba a él era la lucha libre y jugar fútbol. Y no había quien le ganara. Y no había quien le ganara a la lucha. A la lucha. A la lucha porque era bien fuerte. Me he dado de cuenta a través de los años. Yo soy puertorriqueño. Y parece que mi hermano Abel también tiene carácter de puertorriqueño. Estoy súper agradecido de parte del Señor por, por, por la amistad de mi hermano. Porque ha sido más que un hermano, ha sido, yo pudiera decir, como hasta un padre. Porque el ejemplo de él, yo siendo mayor, él me ha dado ejemplo a mí. Y yo he visto que eh, como hombre de Dios, como pastor, uh, es un hombre extraordinario. Y tengo que decirlo porque así es. No tan solo yo te, eh, puedo expresarme de esta manera, sino tenemos otros amigos en común, en donde uh, él ha sido para nosotros una persona extraordinaria. Realmente las palabras me están faltando para expresarme cómo yo me siento concerniente a él. Vamos a Puerto Rico. Y el que me llevó por lugares a mi propio país fue el pastor. No siendo, nunca había ido a Puerto Rico, pero él como es, este, como es, es bien inteligente, agarra el mapa y comenzamos a viajar la isla al extremo que llegamos al lugar en donde yo me crié, el caserío Luis Llorén Torres. Y yo como que estaba un poquito atemorizado porque yo no quería entrar a ese lugar en donde yo me crié, pero él me dijo, no, 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 vamos a entrar y vamos a ir y vamos a ir al lugar en donde tú eras niño para que mires, para que te orientes, para... Para que, para, para que te acuerdes aquellas memorias eh, 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 que tú tenías cuando eras niño. Gracias, Dios te bendiga mi hermano. Y qué bueno que, que nos conocimos y, y qué bueno que estamos juntos y hemos permanecido y hemos uh, caminado todos estos años eh, en nuestra vida. Y ahora que estamos más, más viejos, estamos más canosos, en donde ahora se nos olvidan las cosas, a, a veces a, hasta aquí hemos llegado y yo espero en Dios que, bueno, a, que sigamos, que sigamos hacia adelante y que sigamos, a, bueno, yo no voy a decir que quiero seguirme poniendo viejo, pero obviamente nos vamos a tener que seguir poniendo viejo. Dios te bendiga, Dios te guarde. Amén. born and raised here at Bethesda. Uh, my parents were already pastors um, before I came into the picture. They had already been pastoring um, three years. Um, and so my whole life has been here at Bethesda. Um, everything, every memory, every holiday, every service, everything was here. Um, and I have nothing but good memories. mother especially has always taught us to um, to love the ministry and to love people and to give it everything that we've got our whole heart into it and so um, I'm truly I'm blessed to have grown my whole life in one place in one church and then to have my parents as my pastors um, 
and, and it, that's a blessing that not many people can say and so I'm truly I'm blessed. I would tell him um, tomorrow I'm gonna get up and pray with you at 4 30 or, or 5 and he would tell me okay and so I would get up I would try and I would get up and I'd go kneel down beside him um, on the sofa and he was praying and I just remember I would last maybe five minutes 10 minutes and I was knocked out again praying um, but he was always constant, always um, the same in his prayer time, in his devotion, always writing notes at the, at the table, at the dinner table. He has a notepad to the side and every, I mean, morning, noon, night, every time he sits there, he writes something down. There's always scriptures there. Um, and my mom, of course, was always playing uh, praise and worship music um, in the house. And sometimes we'd get bothered, like, oh, it's the same CD or the same tape <laughs> at that time. Um, but now I treasure those um, memories. I, I, those songs still play in my head. Those worship songs, those things still play. Um, and that's a beautiful memory that I have of them. I remember very clearly uh, my dad's first missionary trip um, in 1987. I was eight years old um, and he was going to be leaving to Nigeria uh, for one month. Um, and I remember um, him preparing and getting ready. Um, he was kind of going with no direction as far as he had never been there. He didn't know. He was just going because Brother Moses had invited him and, and he had only Brother Moses' address. Um, and I remember clearly thinking um, such a feeling of being proud of my dad. Um, it was a special moment, I felt, because I felt like not everybody's dad goes to Nigeria. Not everybody's dad is going out of the country to go minister. Um, and for a month, he left that, that one. And I remember just being so proud. That was one of probably my most proudest moments of him. Um, and every, every trip, every trip since then, we've seen him off, um, we send him. And it's hard. It's been hard. There's times that it's hard when you when they're sacrificing all their time. Your parents are sacrificing all their time for the church, for other people, um, for the ministry, um, for other families. It's hard. Um, but I think my parents did a wonderful job in teaching us that that was what God had called them. A lot of people will go out um, on missions trip and you kind of go and You'll never see those people again. When my dad goes out, he makes lifelong friends. Uh, he makes a connection that's gonna last. Um, and every single person that he has met or connected with in another country, he still keeps in contact with. Um, any given day, he can be at home and someone's calling from Nicaragua, pastor, pray for me, can you do this? And can you help me financially? Um, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, uh, India. Um, those are the calls that he's getting and they are um, lifelong friends. Mom and Dad, I want to say congratulations on 40 years. Um, thank you for being the example of faithfulness, of obedience to the Lord, um, and genuine love for people. Uh, you've instilled that in me. Um, and I know in the others, and and, um, and we're just so grateful to have this legacy that of 40 years that you've been here, obeying what God has um, placed in your heart, um, and here's to another 40. Congratulations, Pastor and Sister Bertha, on your 40th year of serving. My prayer for you is that the Lord will give you strength and good health so that you may continue to see the desires of your heart come to pass. Congratulations. Congratulations, Pastor Vasquez and Sister Bertha, on 40 years of ministry. I remember when I first came to Bethesda and I got my office, um, I asked Pastor Vasquez to be on the lookout for a bookshelf because I needed a bookshelf. And I said, just, just keep your eyes out. And he looked at me and he said, son, you're not going to buy it. You're going to build it. And next thing you know, I kind of looked at him and we were, he said, get in the truck, and we went to Lowe's, we got the wood, and we came back to the church, and we started building a bookshelf, and, and now I got a bookshelf in my office, but I just wanted to say thank you for pushing us to do new things, and just for being a father figure, a role model, and just for uh, always being there for us. We love you, and congratulations once again.
Congratulations, Pastor Abel and Sister Bertha Vasquez. Thank you so much for your 40 years of service unto the Lord through Bethesda. Um, there's one thing I've learned from both of you is to have a servant's heart and to have a great work ethic. Pastor Vasquez, you work so hard and I'm so grateful to know you, to work alongside of you. One of the things I learned about you is you say praise the Lord through it all. Through the good, through the bad, through when things go right, through the, when things don't go right. It's, uh, it's amazing. So thank you so much. God bless you. And may God richly bless you for the rest of your years. Hola, saludos a todos. Quiero felicitar a nuestro pastor Abel Vázquez y su esposa Berta Vázquez por estos 40 años de ministerio. Un logro tremendo. Se dice 40 años muy fácil, pero yo sé que ha sido 40 años de trabajo, 40 años de esfuerzo, quizás lágrimas, este sudor, pero más que todo yo sé que hoy 40 años se celebra con un gozo de un logro que han podido alcanzar gracias a Dios porque Él los ha bendecido y pues yo este, estoy muy privilegiada de, de poder trabajar junto con ellos. Hay muchas cosas que pudiera decir de ellos, pero lo que hoy les quiero decir es que gracias, los amamos, los queremos mucho y, y los queremos seguir apoyando y pues a celebrar porque este es un día de celebración. Gracias. Pastor Vasquez, Sister Bertha, congratulations on your 40 years of ministry here at Bethesda. Thank you guys so much for your wisdom and for your understanding, your guidance, and we pray that the Lord continue to bless you in your ministry. I want to congratulate you on 40 years of ministry here at Bethesda. You both have been our pastors, our teachers, our mentors, and most of all, you've been our greatest cheerleaders, always encouraging us to do more, to strive for more. The 40 years that you have spent building this platform, you have allowed us to stand on it and use it as our launching pad. We are eternally grateful for your ministry, for your love towards us, and we firmly believe that God's best is still ahead of you. God bless you. Es el esfuerzo que llevamos. Es la visión, la pasión que queremos que esté en el corazón de todo miembro. ¿verdad? Que nuestra mirada esté local, ayudando, alargando nuestra mano, ayudar al pobre, al necesitado, salvando las almas para Cristo, pero también mundialmente, internacional, alcanzando nuestro mundo presente. Y con la ayuda de Dios lo estamos logrando, usando todos los medios habidos y por haber para llevar este mensaje hasta los confines de la tierra y que se cumpla la palabra del Señor. Nos gozamos en tener el privilegio de ser una iglesia internacional para su honra y su gloria.